that I want, Mark. You know, um, I'm working with against the cartel, and you, you know how it is, right? I have a price tag on my head. I mean, too much shit in here, intel, knowledge, so I'm a walking death sentence. And the cartel's motto is, uh, dead men don't talk, so, you know, here I am talking on national television, and uh, I can only blab about so much, but I'm hoping that this interview will help flush out where this fucking sub might be, okay? In four, three... Good evening, I'm Mark Harris, and tonight we have with us none other than the head of the United States Drug Enforcement Administration, Mr. Craig Ford. Tonight, we're going to ask him about international drug smuggling and how it's a problem for the citizens of the United States even before the drugs hit our shores. Tonight, it's about organized crime and what we are doing to combat these evil cartels. Mr. Ford, it's so great to have you with us. Um, just, just Ford. 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 No, mister, just Ford. Ford, if you could, please paint a picture for us, this, this personification of evil that is the international drug cartel. Well, that's just it, Mark. Um, the cartel employs what, what I'm calling now an act of evil, which is the worst kind of scumbags, worst kind of people. Uh, sexual slavery, torture, rape, enforced prostitution, forced castration. You get the picture, right? Now, the cartel heads, they know what's going on. But they, uh, they turn their backs and they behave as if it's business as usual. Now, seeing as I know as much as, as they know, um, if I weren't doing everything, I mean everything in my power to stop it, I mean, you get the picture, right? I mean, what difference am I from these motherfuckers? Oh. Ford. Oh. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be much better for our television audience if you don't use words like motherfucker when I'm asking Sorry. questions. Sorry. Okay. Being as close as you are to the cartel in this demanding and dangerous job, does it make you fear for your life? I'm sorry, um, are you asking me if I'm afraid of dying? Well, yes, if that's the way you want to put it. <clears throat> Mark, I welcome death. You understand? I welcome it. There's only one thing, I mean one thing that I'm afraid of. You understand? I'm afraid of living, man. And that makes me the perfect man for the job. more drink and then and then we'll go back to the room I promise, I promise. one more stoli you know your dear daddy would not approve of this cheers to senator jack stanfield decent senator but the best fucking dad ever <laughs> you see that guy over there that keeps looking at us yeah but there's no way I'm letting either of us out of each other's sight, so you might as well just drop it. Yeah, I know, but there's no harm in a little flirting. Hey, keep to yourself. Save it for the boys back home. Okay, okay. So, uh, your dad's a big U.S. senator, huh? <laughs> senator? That's crazy. We know nothing of such senators. Yeah, no, our, our families are poor potato farmers from Idaho. Yeah. Tell you what, last drink's on me. To the poor American potato farmers. <laughs> Vas algo de que gusta? Do you know who the fuck I work for? Si. Trabajas para Palón. Now do as you're told. Take that bitch to the beach. 
put a fucking bullet in her fucking head. You girls are in trouble. In trouble from who? Me. Mr. Stryker, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Miss Sam. Good. You finding everything okay in the office? I am, yes. Everyone's super friendly, showing me around. And what better place than Medellin, right? It's a gorgeous city, just like our office. That it is. Yeah. Yeah. We're super excited to have you here. Excited to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. The family? Settling in okay? Yeah. You know, it started out a bit hectic, mm -hmm. but I think they're doing all right. Allison made some friends. Wonderful. She's got to sleep over tonight. Good to hear. Yeah. It'll provide a lot of, uh... Much needed alone time with me and the missus. Mm. Alone time with the missus. <sighs> well, I'll let you get along with the rest of your day, okay? You okay. have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. Thanks. Sorry, sweet pea. Uh, sorry, baby. Well, I'm going over to Janie's. Call me when you get there. Have fun, sweet pea. Love you. Love you. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. She... Okay. It takes Allison one minute to get to Janie's, unless it's raining, and it's been 90 seconds. How about you just give her a call? Okay. Just give her a call. She probably just forgot. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. She left her phone. Sweet pea. Allison! Stay right here. Dad's not going back to work, is he? I'm not sure. What happened? What did I say? We just got intel that two girls were taken while on spring break at a bar. Senator Jack Stanfield's daughter and her friend, they believe it was tied to the drug cartel for some kind of ransom money. Or worse. You'll always be safe with me, okay? Wanna come help Daddy Pat? Yeah. I have to help. Come on.
How excited are you to see Uncle Ford? Really excited. He did great on that television show. He did, didn't he? What the heck was that? I think it was a great white shark. Isn't that supposed to scare me? Of course it doesn't. Dad, there are no sharks out here. I mean, we're 38,000 feet up in the air. Well, this is no ordinary shark. What do you mean? Well, this is a flying shark. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Can't get anything by you. You want to hear a real shark story? All right. When Daddy was young, he was navigating the NR1. Small little submarine, routine. But we used to hear thumps like that all the time. And this one time, Daddy's friend Captain Ken Kennedy and I decided to go up top to check it out. Guess what we saw when we got up there? What did you see? We saw the biggest fin. It was huge. It was like it was like a scene from Jaws. It was cool until we realized that thing was headed right for us. And it was coming fast. It hit the sub with so much force that it knocked Captain into the waters. Before you know it, the shark was on him. And it was shaking him around like a dog with a bone, you know? Ah! <laughs> okay, you got me, Dad. I admit. <laughs> I did. Thanks for bringing us to Washington with you while you train. Well, I'm going to be helping others train for their mission. But yeah, it's good to have you and Mom with me before I leave. <laughs> Love you, sweet pea. Love you, too. Speak up. I can't hear you. Oh. Ah, I said, are you the faggot that's going to fix the leak? Uh, you're the plumber, right? Uh, you come here to f fix the, the leak. Ow. Ow. That was unpleasant. You know, they call me the extractor. And I need some information, Bob. And being that you're the, uh, Head of the DEA. With privileged information, you're going to tell me exactly what I need to know. You're going to die a horrible fucking death, fat man. I promise you. Okay. I'm sorry, man. You got the wrong guy, man. I am from Culiacan, Mexico. I'm a Mexican dumping beans of shit like you. Ready? Just came back. Uh, yeah. I am the head of DEA. That's me. Yeah. They call you the, uh, the extractor, right? AKA Spider. <coughs> How you know my name? I'm the head of the DEA. I got privileged information, like your dumbass just said. What exactly do you know about me? You're the biggest dope dealer south of Panama. You work for Palom. Others would say that uh, it's the other way around. Um, your main client this last year was uh, cartel mongrel Dallas. But your shipments have been prevented and delayed. You're making that uh, metal pipe you're holding uh, all that much harder. That's just delightful for me, huh? <laughs> Let's see if I can adjust your perception in terms of who I really am and help you see the real problem you face right now. Be right back. You promise? What are we gonna do? Oh, you bought your mother's underwear? I used to fuck her. Uh, yeah, she wore bloomers. She had little Mexican asses that bounce off the curb, you know? Boom, boom, boom. Put your head back. 
Put your fucking head back. Baby. Oh, you know what? Maybe I want to smell your mother's pussy again. Here, let me see. Oh, that's her. There she is. <laughs> oh, don't want to waste it. Where are you? Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, you son of a bitch. You little pussy. You such a little pussy pig. Put it back. Yeah, come on, ready? Some of the jokes. I want to hear a joke. Tell me. What happened? You're not funny anymore. You're not funny now. What happened? You motherfucker. I'm gonna kill you, you son of a bitch. You intercepted my shipment from Pelon. Big problem for me. Which means a big problem for you. Now listen. You can have the drugs. You have my personal fucking guarantee. I will red carpet them. I don't give a fuck about the drugs. Where are the girls? That's our focus. You know what the real focus is? Striker's blood. I want it, like I want to drink this shit. I want to know where he lives. I want to know who his family is. You tell me where he is and we're good. <laughs> your wish is my command. I'm right here. My gun pointed at your head. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> what took you so long? What took you long? You see that spider? When I say something's gonna jump, I deliver the product. Now slowly, hand over the pipe. What are you waiting for? Shoot me. When you hesitate, your conviction is weak. There's no mercy in the world for weakness. Haven't you figured that out yet? Where are the girls? Oh my crotch. TV spot was gonna give me my own personal Colombian bath, and look what happened. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I'm still tough as nails. What? Yeah, yeah, I know. Goddamn right I am. All right, let's get you out of here. All right, man, come on. You all right? Oh. You think so? Come on. Oh, come on. Are you good? Yes. Yeah, Getting all sucks, doesn't it? Fuck you. <laughs> my name is Craig Ford. And I am head of a little shit-ass agency that I adore, the DEA. So this is how this shit goes down, you know, with the cartels. The average transportation of cocaine has always been problematic for the U.S. However, they began to take notice, serious notice, when these cartel pricks got into the sex trafficking business and selling them back into the U.S. for ransom to their parents. The part that really fucks with my head you can only imagine in your holy hellish nightmare. It's what these girls go through if they don't make it back, ending up washed ashore like this little girl did. Anyway, that's how we all got into it. That's how we all got into the mix. Bruce Stryker, the DEA, my dumbass, and the head of the CIA. But trust and believe this, it's one hell of a story. Can you huh? turn to Dr. Huh? Bergeron? Oh, oh. he's up.
Hey, where are my two DE agents? They should be standing at the door. Mr. Ford, you've been rushed into intensive care. But I need my men back here. And until I, I ID you, I'm going to have to take, take your goddamn hands off me. I'm going to take that syringe she's holding and stick up your goddamn ass, all right? Mr. Ford, what? if you can take these pills... Uh, listen, you'd be better nurses if you take off your fucking clothes. Uh, right. You know what I'm tell you that? You, you've been to nursing school? Not to mine. Oh, come on, I'm just playing. Hey, Ford. Those three nurses, they checked out. Your men are in the hallway. You okay? Excellent. Hey, hey good to see you, Bruce. You, know, you, you never can be too fucking careful. Yeah. No, you can't. That's right. Yeah. Watch your family. Don't fuck it up like I did. Holy popsicle, look who's here. Uncle Ford. Hey, hey honey. Fine, fine, yeah. yeah. Enough about me, though. Uh, how's, your, how's your dad's training going, honey? Great. It really is good. You'd be really proud. That's great. That's great. Hey, let's, let's, let's get me out of here and we'll go have lunch together with Rebecca. All right. Let's let me scare them docs off. Hey, your daddy, I gotta do something. It's a window of opportunity. Get me out of here. Okay, hey. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Just don't forget what I said, all right? If I had half the life you have, I would have lost Carol and I had a pretty, you know, goddamn good life. You know, just don't fuck it up, all right? And uh, you fear all I have left anyway. You hear me? You understand? I understand. Okay. So turn in tomorrow. 079. Goddamn right. I got 26 missing Americans. Let's bring that number down by two tomorrow, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Where my clothes? In the car. All right, let's go. I'll ask a fucking question. Get this piece of shit out of here. before Christmas. Unit three, follow me. Move out. Hey, Ford, hold on for a moment. What? Is it really that bad? Yeah, well, it was that bad. What'd you think? Hey, look, man, when I'm second best guy in the exercise, we have problems, you know? I'm 50 fucking years old. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Come on. You gotta do better. Much better. 10-4. Let's give these goddamn Spartans to fire. That's what you do, Leonidas. Fucking Persian cartel. Unit 3, Striker's got something to tell you. You guys sucked. You guys really sucked. If I jacked that score, what Striker's gonna tell you about was me. I know what kind of people are taking my daughters. He's right, guys. This is a very important mission. We just got some intel. That 23 teenage U.S. female citizens were abducted while on spring break in Central America. All related to the drug cartel. This is an epidemic. They all have families that want them home safely. We're the ones that are going to bring them home. We're the only ones that can do it. We can't do it like that. Now pull your asses together. I want you thinking, and I want you killing. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're better than this. We're all better than this. Let's go. Let's move out. Let's go. Let's go.
Not my type. I'm sorry. I'll shoot you right now. You wanna die? I'll shoot you right now. Huh? Mexicano nos detuvo. Muchos autos están pasando por ahí. And the men? Ambos están muertos. Bueno, los muertos no hablan. Let him go. He's one of us. Bring him to me. Spider knew he fucked up. 
But much like a wolf pack, the cartel pack is an exceedingly complex social unit. The alpha of the cartel is a man named Pallone. And the job of maintaining order and cohesion falls largely to the alpha wolves. Pallone being the number one wolf. So Pallone makes the call to release Spider. The second in command are called the Betas. That would be Spider. Followed by mid-breaking wolves like Javier and finally the Omegas, or as the cartel refer to as uh, prairie dogs. <laughs> or murder dogs, the ones that do the dirty work. Spider relentlessly kills the injured prairie dogs. As they say, dead men tell no tales. Ah, oh, fuck it. Dead men don't talk. See, what makes this story interesting is the nature of wolves. Any temptation to be an alpha will be the cartel's undoing. Keep watching. It's just a matter of time. Esta es la segunda vez. Petrón, eso no va a volver a pasar. Claro que no. We will no longer travel to Mexico. From now on, we go directly to the U.S. Florida. Pero, how will we get in there? Mi amor. Vamos. Puto Resfordel. Javier. Señor. Ver. A Striker. Entendido. Hey, beautiful. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Sweet Pea. Hey, Bruce. We just picked up Allison. We're on the way to the office. Um, but... Where is it again? Because I need to tell the bodyguard. <laughs> seven months. We've been here seven months. And you still don't know where my office it is? It was one time that I've been, and it was for the welcoming parties, so... And one too many margaritas. We can turn around. Look, um, Bex... I don't know if I'm going to be able to wrap up... By... by the time you guys get here, maybe you guys should just go to the beach without me? Bruce, you promised. Yeah, come on, Daddy. You promised. All right, all right. But how can I say no to that kind of love? <laughs> Bruce, something's happening. Hold on. Frederick, why'd you pull over? Get down! Sawyer, get down! <laughs> what was that? Down, down. What's wrong? Allison, down, down! <laughs> sit down, sit down! <laughs> Alive again. There's a van out front. 
get in it. Sabe que los muertos no pueden ver su familia, ¿no? Pues sí son muchas maricas, ¿no? Where's my wife? Your wife is safe, as is your little girl. They will continue to be safe as long as you cooperate. Why me? I have nothing to offer. Well, since you knew enough, to expose our last mission, Pallone expects you to make this delivery. And if I don't? Your wife, your kid, you will watch them die before I cut every one of your limbs off. The last will be your head. But if you work with us, we will let them go. You're fucking insane. A ver, ¿qué más? Cuento contigo. Tenemos mucho un hueco en esto. Tres cosas para recordar. Do not snort the brother. Do not fuck the other brother. <laughs> yeah. No es gracioso. Una cosa más. Don't let Striker play you. Keep him down. Your pistola at his head siempre. Once the drug wears off, he will kill you. Like that. We don't need that fucking idiot. Striker knows how to avoid the authority. He says he was their superior. Mm. Let me check this out. Alessandro will be waiting for you in Florida with El Gran Contacto named Dallas. Mm. Give him the sample bag as instructed. Okay? I got this. Trust me. Let's pray for your sake, Amanito. Hey, hey, oh, hello, anybody home? Okay, I know you can hear me. You fucked this up for me. 
Your wife and child will never see the light of day, I promise you. Do you understand? Yes. Look at me. Do you fucking understand? There's nothing to worry about. I'm not worried. You should be worried. Are you worried? Are you worried? Yes. Good. Take him. Epa. Oye, ¿no qué? Mira este man. Eh, hey, mira. Dale, 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 dale. Vamos. Ahí tranquilo, ahí yo hago sí. What's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. It's a pretty name. Your husband. Is he a smart man? I hope so. Are you excited to go to the beach? Of course. <laughs> Where's your mother? She's packing. Mm, that's good. Do you remember our promise? Of course. Do you remember which promise? 
Mm. No, I'm sorry, honey. Which one? The one where you're supposed to keep me and mom safe. Dad, we need your help. I'm scared. They're hurting me and mom. No. We need your help. No. no. Come on, help. Yes. Princesa. You look too young to be in the cartel. Old enough to put a fucking bullet in your head. Like that's the hard part. Fucking things off of me. Don't try anything stupid, alright? I'll be the fucking hero. Tú tienes una familia. Yo no. The fuck is that? Well, sir. If you're lucky. If you're not, great white sharks. And that's supposed to scare me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I was navigating the NR1. <sighs> yeah, we used to hear thumbs like that. Quite often. Just one time, buddy of mine, Captain Ken Kenny and I, went up top to check it out. Got up there, I turned around, saw the biggest spin I've ever seen. Yeah, it was enormous. <laughs> it was heading straight for the sub. It hit the sub so hard that Captain Kennedy fell in the water. That shark was on him so fast. It shook him around. It shook him around like a dog with a bone. <laughs> I'm tired of this bullshit. Get up. Look tough, Kai. Go upstairs. You're gonna get us to fucking Florida. Figure out your fish situation. Record this. Okay. You got a flare gun in this? Piece of shit sub? Hey. Get out of the way. So I can do my job. Hello? Boy. You tell your brother to give me the helm so I can do my job? Oh, yeah. Movete. Este me va a manejar. Si cualquier cosa yo te aviso. Here's where things got a little tricky. No one at the CIA knew Stryker did a little favor for Senator Stanfield. It was Stryker's own code of honor that compelled him to do it. Much like the wolf pack of the cartel, myself, the head of the CIA, and his top men, we all had our rank. 
The difference between the cartel and us, we don't eat our own kind. Huh? Most of the time. Sport? Hey, hey! This time, good ones. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. What's up? Yeah, we've got problems. Um, let me guess. Cartel problems. Yeah. I have a briefing with the president in 30 minutes. You guys said this is level one? Yes, sir. Um, my friend, Bruce Stryker, he's a highly decorated naval officer. He's been kidnapped by the Colombian cartel. Everybody knows that, all right? Come on. T tell him. Why is the DEA involved in this? Hey, look, I don't like these assholes either, but I'm their boss, all right? If we want to topple the cartel, then we've got to stop all this bullshit and work together. What the hell is he doing in Colombia, Jim? Oh, he has family down there, sir. His mistress. No, I'm talking about his family. I don't mean just some old whore. I mean his real mistress. His job. Oh. Stop. Okay. All right. Anyway, they wanted him down there after he retired from the Navy. Look, I can vouch for him. I trained him, okay? And he has one bona fide badass motherfucker with one big bad problem. He loves his family very much, and they're gone. Sir, he's a hero. Uh, he was awarded the Navy Cross after he saved eight Navy SEALs. Uh, he deserves to be rescued. He's earned it. You may not know it, but you are better. You are safer. We are better. Bruce Stryker is, um, he's an artist. Like Van Gogh, like Modigliani, like, um, like, like Lenin, like the Stones, okay? And blood is his paint, and the cartel is his canvas. So what do you guys expect me to do about this? Just give us your permission to go and turn over a few stones so that we can help save him. All right. Save your buddy. But I don't want your people knowing anything about it. What? As far as they're concerned, he's as big a criminal as a cartel. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Who's in charge here? I am. Who the hell are you? I'm the one in charge here. Well, you're a real shitty host. Oh, lo siento, señora. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> are you bored? Yeah, I get bored too. This is boring here. Maybe we could figure out something to do. That's the time. I got a room right back there. I won't tell if you don't tell. So tense. Give it to me. It's okay. I'm on our run. Mommy likes me. She's, she's confused. So I'm gonna cut you loose. And we're going to the fucking room. And you're gonna do it again. And then the time will go by like that. Huh? Don't do anything fucking stupid. <laughs> you wanna play? You wanna play? Yeah, let's play all day. Oh, you look like that, that the chica in the movie, man. You know the one? What's the one? The mermaid. You look like the mermaid girl, right? You know the one? The, the you know the movie, right? The Hollywood movie. That's you, man. Right? Spider. So nice. Esta es una prisión. No un potero. No tienes respeto para las mujeres.
job was to get rid of my body. Don't forget that. That was the submarine. They just bust Cuba. Yeah, straight for Key West. Good. They're making good time. How soon should I travel there? You're not going anywhere. Quién nos conocerá? Sending my wife to the location. She'll be staying with my contact in the U.S. Plus, I need a break from the woman. Okay, porque ella, ella no puede ir sola. She shouldn't go alone. At least she'll be away from you. Oh, you don't trust me, Pelon? I can't trust anyone. Especially anyone who's fucking my wife. How did you know? I didn't. I do now. Look. Look. The shark is all over us. I get sucked up by the propulsion. A shark that size? It'll snap the metal of the propellers like that. Look. The shots from the gun? It'll alert the shark. It'll scare it off. Give me the gun. No funny business. I'm a man of my word. No funny business. anymore. No funny business. We're in the clear. You know what you're doing, pretty boy. I like that. These waters. So, gotta ask, where did you guys get this sub? It's a good question and a fucked up question at the same time. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I bet. That different, actually. How so, pretty boy? <laughs> no, it's not how this works. I'm not gonna go around in a circle, telling our stories like we're at a campfire. No, I have a family I have to save. Okay, I have to stay focused. 
I don't want to be here. But we are here. But let me get one thing straight. I will do anything for my family. And if you get in my way, I will kill you. Yo estoy aquí para hablar contigo. ¿Qué es este mierda? Estoy aquí. ¿Y qué? Y cuaputa, traicionero. No hizo nada. Nada. Why? ¿Por qué? No hizo nada. Para ti sí. Para mí no. We make peace. ¿Se agarró? Ah, gracias. Rica, amigo. Gracias. Sí. You don't fuck around with a guy like Pallone. He is the Alpha. But more than that, his whole life, and his father's father's whole life, and his father's 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 founded their family principle on respect. You could say, Pallone smelled a rat in the room. But more than that, he could sense a bigger one right outside the door. And like any great Alpha, he knows how to treat his pack. Pardon me, his people. Keeps him fed, keeps him warm, gets him laid. <laughs> oh, and he keeps them happy and content. Like the pieces of shit they are. No disrespect. Oh, mi amor, mira. Melissa. Mostralo. This is beautiful, huh? It's gorgeous. So it looks so nice on you. Ah. I need you to attend the business in Miami with our big client Dallas. He awaits you on his yacht. Mi amor, why don't you go to Miami and meet with Dallas? And then I'll stay here and watch everything. Yo voy a quedar acá, casa. I trust you. I 
have to tell you something. Now is not the time. Okay. Okay, mi amor. Don't shoot. Do you know who I am? I don't give a fuck. Give me the jewels. Get out of the car. Come on. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. You want this, son? Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't wear it. Don't wear it. Give me that. Stupid. Do you know who I am? Alone, I didn't know it was you. Alguien todo el tiempo se va. They always try to fucking get me. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. You're right. It's okay. I love you so much. I love you too. Mi amor. Vamos a ir a casa, por favor. Let's go home. Let's go home. Vamos. Entonces, ¿qué? En lo que estoy viendo, ¿vamos bien? You still don't trust me. Trust you? <laughs> Esta marica. You have one job. Get us to America, you get your family. We get caught, family dies. You have your family kidnapped. You may have us. <laughs> You're an asshole like me. I like that. Beautiful. I want you to know your eyes look lovely today. <laughs> That's nice. I'm going for that <laughs> bullshit line for you, huh? Once, maybe twice. What's up? Just want you to know the uh, the informant is arriving now. Now? Now. Our source in Medellin says that a shipment is about to arrive. What's the shipment's ETA? Well, they're bypassing Mexico and coming by way of Key West. So they're going to arrive sometime tomorrow. Your job is to arrive before those two get a chance to escape. Now, I got to tell you, there's going to be three undercover CIA agents there to help. Work with them. I know how you feel about those sons of bitches, but you've got to work with them. Swallow your pride. So, uh, I can't kill anybody tomorrow? Not this time. Okay. okay. See you, buddy. All right. How'd it go? Shipment's coming in tomorrow. Opportunity to redeem ourselves. Do something right, okay? Get moving. Duty calls. Go! Listen. 
Listen, I need you to be brave for me, okay? <laughs> you mean like that? <laughs> exactly like that. Daddy, come save us. Father's the bravest man I know. And he'll do whatever it takes to come get us. And do you know why? Because we're family. And we're always there for each other. Yes, exactly. So stay strong for me, okay? I'll protect you. I do. Tom, what do you got? I fall. Oh, whoa, oh, man. Full house, King High. Wow. Well, you know what? My house is a little bit bigger than that. Ace is high. Oh. <laughs> you always were quite the charlatan. <laughs> I'm never playing cards with you again. Hey, sweet cakes. Where's my product? Have you heard anything? I just saw it get loaded into the pickup boat. Tell him to take it to the secure dock. We'll meet him there. It's a lovely sight. Let's go into the dock. I assume you're our contact? You betcha. And if I wasn't, you'd be in Hell's Kitchen right now. Let's see what you got.
Well, looks like we have a deal. Looks like the end of the line for you, Bruce. Puta madre, Javier, no! What the? Tanker! Fuck it's all right, Commander, you're safe. CIA. When we heard an American veteran was taken hostage by the Colombian cartel, Richard Bishop called me in. Thank you. And who might you be? Agent Dallas Chapman. Godspeed, Commander. Agent Bell. Commander Stryker. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, sir. This here is Agent Juarez. Come on, Ford's waiting for you. Oh shit, I should have known. How was your trip? You look like hell. <laughs> yeah, a lot better than you did when I saved you from that cartel sewer. Give me my little pipe and uh, my pipe and shower dance with Spider, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Look, Ford. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you for saving my life again. I assume it was your idea to use Dallas as a mole to save my ass. Nope, that was Richard Bishop's idea. Actually, Dallas is CIA top agent. I was gonna do it myself, but uh, Spider had ID'd me, so. Hey, look, there's enough talk, enough bullshitting. We need to get your family back, all right? Exactly. And I need your help. I know. I'm already on it, okay? I'm already on it. I have a swift boat waiting for you and Agent Bell at um, Bigdale Air Force Base in Medellin, all right? So let's not have their lives lost in vain. But most importantly, let's get Rebecca and Allison home. You know I won't stop until I do, sir. What next? Well, you know, Palo and the Spider are not going to stop hunting you down, and that means your family as well. This could be just the beginning. Maybe we'll get lucky. You are. <clears throat> I'm gonna need you to be brave for daddy, okay? It's not over. I love you. I love you too. Okay, come with me. I've got you. I gotta put you down. We're not having yet. Stay near mommy, okay? Let's go. Whoa, wait. Okay, come on. I need you to trust me. Be quiet. Go over there. Security. 
It's a fortress, and it's heavily guarded. What's my entry? We're going swimming. The entry point on the north side. We've got to swim through the channel. Is it enough? Hay parceros, se andan mamando o qué? Mi amor? Mi amor? Mi amor? No! 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 Oh, mi amor! No!
It's that simple. Like I said, wolves will turn on wolves. Then Bruce just steps in and takes out the new alpha. I would have loved, I would have loved to see Spider's expression. Spider had just 30 seconds to be the new alpha in their shit-driven operation. That's it. Then he's taken out. Just a flash of a moment for Spider. Just enough to pick up a cigar and not even get a chance to light the son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's it. In the end, a man will become a criminal to save his family. I mean, he will do just about anything. Bruce is the new alpha, and rightfully so. And until every girl is returned, and more importantly, this cartel is brought to its knees in absolute submission so that Bruce's family will be safe. It will be up to Bruce to run this cartel like it was his own. You could say Stryker would become more than a mole for the CIA and DEA. He is the new alpha criminal of this cartel. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is just what the boys back home in Washington had hoped for. God bless America. Thank you.